so now first step is uh, we have to set this load once property to false uh, this uh, to do list dot uh, js page let me give this run back to 10 and uh, uh, we have to set this uh, load once property to false and then uh, step 2 is uh, open uh, to do list uh, index.cs html page and uh, we have to add all the required filters uh, uh, like uh, the will uh, let me select uh, like uh, three filters uh, like a uh, task name and uh, target date and CVRT. i'm adding uh, filters uh, to this jq grid i have to open index.cs html which is present in to do list folder So here, uh, let me add the namespace for including the model. So here, I'm, uh, I'm adding all the uh, filters. So I have added uh, three filters, like uh, I have divided the div into three columns and uh, like uh, uh, to add these filters. So one filter is for uh, uh, task name and uh, the second one is for uh, target date and the third one is for CVRT. so we can uh, i'm planning to do a uh, filter based on this uh, three fields uh, so on uh, one more thing is i uh, have added uh, like uh, one class like a uh, new uh, class is equal to filter item this is for uh, iterating uh, all the fields uh, uh, which is having the value uh, filter items so I have uh, added one class called as filter items. And uh, I've also given uh, one button like uh, uh, a filter button so for searching the filtered records. So let me refresh and see the page. So the three fields has been added for uh, filtering purpose like task name, target date, and uh, severity one is drop down and uh, one text field and uh, one text field with a uh, date option so and one uh, button i have provided like filter so on click of this uh, filter it should be able to filter the values now next step is uh, i have to open uh, to do list dot js file and uh, uh, and handle this uh, filter grid uh, functionality from the js file So I am writing. I uh, have adding one function. This is uh, the filter grid. So inside this filter grid, uh, as 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 I, uh, as I said that uh, filter item one class is there. So uh, I am gonna take uh, values from all this field and uh, uh, I will uh, grab all the filter IDs and the values and uh, uh, add it to this uh, post data values so that. Uh, uh, so that I can uh, post these uh, values to the controller and uh, refer and uh, reload the grid with the filtered values. So this function mainly handles this. Uh, 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 this is a filter uh, fil uh, filter grid uh, functionality which I have written. So I have to call this uh, function from the document dot ready uh, ready uh, method. So on click of uh, filter button, what I will do is uh, I will call this method. So on click of filter button, I will be calling this filter grid method. So this filter grid uh, method, what it does is uh, it will post uh, all the data uh, which uh, which uh, the filter fields contains. So it will be posting all the filtered data values uh, to the controller and it will be reloading the grid uh, with the filter data. Uh, let me add uh, one more uh, thing like uh, Target date is a, uh, a date. A date time is having date time. So let me uh, add uh, date picker to it using uh, jQuery UI. So I'm adding uh, date picker to it. Let me see. So target date. Uh, even though this is a text field, uh, we can add a date picker for filtering purpose. So so far uh, we have uh, done from the control. Uh, CSHTML page and uh, JS file. So now uh, we have to handle the uh, handle uh, in the controller side also. So let me stop this. Uh, 
let me open uh, to do list controller so here uh, for this i have to add uh, three fields I have to add three fields. One is uh, task name, and the severity, and the target date. And uh, next thing is uh, performing the filter functionality using link queries for this uh, filters. So here I am checking uh, uh, if the task name uh, is uh, null or empty. If if it is not equal to null or empty, then I will. Uh, uh, filter the data based on the uh, filtered uh, in, uh, pattern and uh, same thing uh, applies to severity and uh, this is uh, the target date if uh, this uh, parameter is having a value then i am uh, such i am filtering the data based on this uh, target date like it should be target date should be greater than or equal to whatever the date we have uh, specified in the filter uh, filter this parameter so now let's run the application and see. So let me select a task one and uh, filter it so we got the filtered data let me reset it uh, now let's filter based on the date so i'm selecting uh, 16 10 uh, 2014 so all the dates which are greater than this uh, it should be shown so you can see all the dates uh, it got uh, filtered and uh, it is showing and uh, now let's uh, select uh, let's do uh, filter based on the severity let's select medium severity so now it's it's displaying only two records so here you can see that uh, uh, the we here we have uh, we have overcome the disadvantage of uh, 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 client side jq grid uh, uh, jq grid search option so using this uh, custom filter there is no, there will be no problem with uh, pagination functionality and uh, uh, this is about uh, our uh, uh, session regarding uh, custom filter or search functionality using uh, jq grid and mvc demo uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video